They say a case is good as the witness is available. But the judicial sector in the country has been faced with numerous challenges where witnesses decline to testify in fear of threats. Something that has led to unconcluded crucial cases including Goldenberg, Kikambala bombing among others. You will recall the Kikambala bombing, terrorist bombing, where witnesses eventually refused to testify at all because there was no undertaking by the state that they could change their identity and be relocated to their country of choice. They had indicated the country they wanted to go to. Uh, we had no resources to do it, either to change their identity or to relocate them to those countries, and they eventually refused to testify. Uh, the past failure to prosecute those responsible for crimes largely contributes to the unwillingness of witnesses and victims to come forth and cooperate with the security and investigative agencies. This is mainly because of fear of reprisals. Barely three months ago, the ICC Protection Unit reported of witness intimidation in the country where they sent investigators who alleged that six people, including political activists and prominent businessmen, have been trying to make contacts with the witnesses and their families on pleas that they will not give their evidence before the court in exchange of monies and properties. The ICC investigators have, come, have been in this country over the last two weeks. How did they get here? How did they stay here? How did they meet witnesses? Facilitated by another government? Obviously not. Facilitated by, by the government of the Republic of Kenya. Provided security. Escorted to the various areas that they wanted to be to meet the persons that they wanted to do. Attorney General Geto Moigai has assured that Kenya will continue cooperating with the ICC, further shunning comments from the ICC prosecutor's office and the court, asking judicial officers not to downplay efforts of the government in witness protection. I think we require some recognition uh, for this effort, and I do not believe that comments attributed to officials of the court that seek to depict Kenya as a reluctant, uncooperative country are merited by the facts or the experience. So much so that Kenya was offered by a friendly government a large amount of money as a grant in order to exempt officials of that country from the application of the Rome Statute to them. Kenya turned down that grant. Does that sound to you like a country that has no respect for the court? Some witnesses involved in the post-election violence are currently being held abroad with keen supervision from the ICC Protection Unit. However, some families have also had to be flown out of the country on security grounds. Preliminary hearings of the four suspects of post-election violence are slated for June 11th and 12th. Henry Miner. GBS News.